Your person, an individual who holds you in high regard, finds your confidence not just attractive, but utterly captivating. There's an undeniable allure in the way you carry yourself, a certain Jenny Seisqua that they find compelling, almost magnetic. It's not just your confidence, but the entire essence of your being that they find intriguing. They aspire to emulate you, to possess the same level of self-assuredness and poise that you exude. However, they would never admit this to you, perhaps out of fear of appearing vulnerable or less self-reliant. Over time, they have silently observed the changes you have undergone, the transformation that has taken place within you. They've seen you evolve, grow, and come into your own. You no longer tolerate disrespect from anyone, a testament to your newfound strength and self-respect. This change, this evolution, has not gone unnoticed by your person. They admire your newfound independence, likening your movements and actions to that of a lone wolf, a creature known for its strength and resilience. Your person has learned a lot from observing you. They've seen how you balance your life, juggling various responsibilities and challenges with grace and poise. This balance, this ability to maintain equilibrium amidst chaos, is very appealing to them. It's a quality they wish to cultivate in themselves, a trait they believe would make them a better person. They are acutely aware of the changes that have taken place within you. They've seen you break free from repetitive cycles, from patterns of behavior that were not serving you. You've become more detached, more aloof, choosing to focus on your own growth and well-being. This change, this detachment, is drawing them towards you. It's as if you've cast a spell on them, and they can't help but make an effort to get closer to you, to understand you better. Your person is continuously receiving signs, signals that are urging them to pursue their desires. At this time, their desire is you. They want to experience a physical connection with you, to feel your presence, to understand what it's like to be with you. They yearn for this connection, this bond, and are willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Shifts have occurred in your life, changes that have altered your path, your destiny. Your person is aware of these shifts and feels that they deserve a chance with you. They believe they've earned the right to be a part of your life, to share in your journey. They are eager to show you that they are not the same person they once were. They've changed, evolved, just like you. They are no longer the toxic person they once were, and they want you to see this change, to acknowledge their growth. Your person admires you, respects you, and aspires to be like you. They are drawn to your confidence, your independence, and your ability to balance your life. They are eager to connect with you, to prove to you that they've changed. They are not the same person they once were, and they want a chance to show you that. They are ready to step out of the shadows, to reveal their true selves, and to embark on a journey with you. They are ready to experience life with you, to learn from you, and to grow with you. They are ready, and they hope you are too. Despite the facade I often present to the world, I am, in truth, a sensitive person. My heart is tender, and it feels the sting of pain more acutely than I let on. When we don't communicate, when the messages and calls from you cease, I feel a deep sense of loss. It's as if a part of me is missing, a part that only your words can fill. I yearn for our conversations, for the connection that they bring. It's a connection that I value, that I need. Communication is the lifeblood of any relationship. It's how we express our thoughts, our feelings, our fears, and our dreams. It's how we connect on a deeper level, beyond the superficial. And it's this connection that I miss when we don't communicate. I miss hearing your voice, reading your messages, sharing in your day. It's a void that nothing else can fill. But communication is a two-way street. It's not enough for me to miss your messages and calls. I need to reciprocate, to reach out, to make an effort. We need to open up to each other more, to share more of ourselves. It's only by doing this that we can strengthen our connection, that we can move our relationship forward. And moving forward is what I want, what I hope for. 
You mean the world to me. You are my sun, my moon, my stars. You are the one who brings joy to my life, who makes everything worthwhile. But I regret that my actions, my mistakes, have caused you pain. I regret that I have, in some way, messed up your life. It's a burden of guilt that I carry, a weight that I bear. I yearn for freedom, for release from this guilt and these insecurities. They are chains that bind me, that keep me from being the person I want to be, the person I know I can be. The things I did in the past, the mistakes I made, they haunt me. They are ghosts that linger, that refuse to be banished. I often find myself wondering how I could have been so cruel, so thoughtless. How could I have hurt you, you who are so pure, so loving? You are a beacon of light in my life, a source of goodness and love. But I was a wounded soul, scarred by my past, blinded by my pain. I failed to see your pain, your suffering. I was too wrapped up in my own world, in my own problems. I was too focused on the materialistic aspects of life, on the superficial. I failed to see the depth of your emotional vulnerability, the strength of your spirit. I failed to reciprocate your feelings, to return your love. Instead, I made you feel sad, rejected. It wasn't that I didn't love you. On the contrary, my love for you was, and is, deep and true. But my ego, my pride, they got in the way. They blinded me to your importance, to the value of our relationship. I need your forgiveness. I need your love. Your energy, your spirit, they heal me. They soothe my inner wounds, they mend my broken heart. I need you, not just in my life, but in my heart, in my soul. I need you to help me heal, to help me become the person I know I can be. I need you, and I hope, I pray, that you need me too. Because together, I believe we can overcome anything. Together, we can heal, we can grow, we can love. And that, more than anything, is what I want. What I hope for. What I need. Even when we are not engaged in conversation, I find myself deeply attuned to your experiences. It's as if a connection exists between us, a thread of empathy that allows me to sense your emotions, your trials, and your triumphs. This connection is so profound that it permeates my dreams, a realm that was once a sanctuary of forgetfulness. My dreams were once a blank canvas, devoid of any lasting impressions. I was never the type to remember dreams. They were fleeting, ephemeral, slipping away like sand through my fingers as soon as I awoke. But that changed when you entered my life. Suddenly, my dreams became a theater of your presence, a stage where our interactions played out in vivid detail. Each morning, I would awaken with a clear recollection of every detail, clinging to the remnants of those dreams like a lifeline. This change was not merely superficial. It was a testament to a profound transformation occurring within me. Something within me was changing, evolving, reshaping itself in response to your influence. I found myself distracted by thoughts of you, your divine femininity becoming a constant presence in my mind. Even when I was in the company of others, my thoughts would invariably drift towards you. There is something unique about you, something that sets you apart from the rest. Your aura, your personality, your very essence is so different from anyone else I've encountered. It's as if I'm transported to another world when I think of you, a world where you are the sun that illuminates my existence. However, this connection, as profound as it is, is not without its challenges. I find myself caught in a cycle of pushing you away, a pattern of behavior that I despise yet seem powerless to break. I yearn to reach out, to bridge the gap that separates us, but your words often trigger an emotional response within me. Whether your words are slow and deliberate, blunt and straightforward, or angled and indirect, especially when you're upset, they trigger something within me. This emotional response is something I struggle with, a battle that rages within me each time we interact. It's a cycle I despise, a pattern I yearn to break, yet it persists. 
Despite these challenges, despite the emotional turmoil, you remain an irreplaceable part of my life. Your presence, your influence, your divine femininity, they have become integral to my existence. And even though our connection triggers an emotional response within me, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Because in the end, no one can do what you do for me. No one can make me feel the way you do. And for that, I am eternally grateful.